Antarctica is such a fundamental component of how the planet works, yet some of the science, some of the processes connecting Antarctica to the global system are incredibly difficult to measure and very challenging to model. And so we're working on that, but we're working on it for future understanding. It's critical that we understand how sea level rise will work over the next 200 years. It's critical that we understand how the ocean processes will connect to how we live our lives. NIWA is a research institute that has a mission around uh, understanding how Aotearoa New Zealand's uh, environmental systems, atmosphere and ocean, work. The project has a number of components. They're all connected and they all have contributions from different groups, but they can be roughly divided into the ice shelves around Antarctica, the pollinia, and then we look at how the ocean proper around Antarctica transports heat and salt. Sea ice forms around Antarctica from the ocean itself. Each winter the temperatures in the atmosphere get so cold that the surface of the ocean freezes. And it freezes to a depth between one and two metres thick and over an area that covers the size of Antarctica again. So it's a really big s signal in our climate system and one that a lot of people don't know much about. Sea ice plays a critical role in connecting the open ocean to the ocean that's eating away at the Antarctic ice shelf. So we need to understand how that ice is melting from underneath because those ice shelves and how they evolve is determining how fast the ice sheet itself is flowing off the continent of Antarctica. Polynia ice shelves and sea ice are really um, difficult to model because of the spatial and temporal scales which they require. And, but they are also quite important, not just locally, because, um, for example, they influence Antarctic bottom water formation in the Ross Sea region, which is part of the global marginal overtonic circulation. The Earth system model is a complex tool which tries to simulate all relevant parts of the Earth system. It tries to simulate the atmosphere, the ocean, sea ice, and all interactions between those um, um, parts. And of course, the ocean is a really important part of the Earth system. It captures a lot of, um, holds a lot of heat and um, is important for the carbon cycle. Paleoclimate records help us better predict the future because they extend the instrumental record beyond what we have available from satellites and modern observations. And this is really helpful in predicting the future in two ways. First, extending the instrumental record to understand the climate that we're currently moving away from, and then using deep time records to understand what sorts of climates we might be moving towards. And I think this is the moment when I should say that what we are currently doing is totally geologically unprecedented. But with that in mind, um, we can use past intervals of change to help us understand what might happen in the future. Climate change is a social problem. It affects all sectors of society. It does not discriminate, so we are all affected by it. And so I think it's important to then communicate this to all sectors of society. It's often talking about climate change is um, preference to certain types of stakeholders, but I think the more knowledge we have and share to all of society now, um, the better we can you know, convert that knowledge to action. International collaboration is fundamental for climate science and nowhere is that more important than Antarctica because it's such a difficult place to work and data are so hard to come by and the models are so complicated. We really need international teams to, to work together, to share data, to kind of come up with those answers to the global challenges that we're facing. I have a hope that our project will contribute to the understanding of the role the oceans play in the climate system. I think you know, naturally enough you sort of tend to think about the air temperatures around you or the sea level on your coastline, but as we go forward over the next couple of hundred years the ocean's role in how the planet works will become more and more apparent and I'm hoping the work in this project will play a, a, a small part in, in understanding the transfers and the mechanics in that system.